Nature needs kids. Kids need nature from the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. Become the great student of this great teacher. Hello, friends. Are you enjoying nature today? Are you? Well, burr, 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 burr. It's cold where I am, as it's cold where you are. I thought that the spring, warm spring, had come finally a couple days ago when I was walking around in short sleeves. But spring is very tricky. And so it's chilly again. And so look what Miss Morgan has on her jacket. So I hope you're staying warm. And I hope you were able to get outside this morning. Looks a little windy. Looks a little cloudy. I saw the sun for just a little bit, but now it's behind the clouds again where I am. How about where you are? Well, today we're going to talk about a fascinating another bird. We talked about a bird on Monday. We talked about a bird on Tuesday. And today we're going to talk about another bird. We don't usually do three birds in a row, but I'll tell you why I picked the blue heron. We can talk about it in a minute, shall we sing? Okay, get your voices ready, get your percussion ready, get your swaying body ready. Here we go. Come, friends, walk with me. Come, friends, to the trees. There's so much to learn. There's so much to see. Oh, there's the sunshine. I see it. Come, friends, to the tree. Oh yeah, come friends, walk with me. Come friends to the tree. There's so much to learn and there is so much to see. Come friends to the tree. Come friends. Walk with me, come friends, to the trees. There's so much to learn and there is so much to see. Come friends, to the trees, ba -da -ba. to the trees, ba -da -ba. to the trees. Come friends, hurry. Walk with me. We gotta get to the woods. Let's go. Woo, woo. Good singing. Good singing. Are you are you excited to talk about another nature friend? Because I am so excited to talk about this nature friend. I've been looking to forward to it all morning. Listen how fast I'm talking. I'm so excited. Okay, let me put on my research glasses. Okay. Well, today we're going to talk about a bird called the Great Blue Heron. Can you say that? The Great Blue Heron. Let's say it one more time. The Great Blue Heron. Do you want to see my picture? Okay, here it is. There's my great blue heron. Isn't she gorgeous? She's so beautiful. Yep. So, she's very big. We'll talk about how big she is. <clears throat> She has a long beak or bill. It's yellowish, orangish, yellowish. Very long, long neck. Long legs. And she's 
grayish blue with some black highlights, some white highlights. Isn't she beautiful? Let me tell you the story. This morning, I looked out my window and I saw a deer. And the deer was eating one of the bushes near my patio. So I looked out and I said, oh my goodness, there's a deer right there. And then I saw another deer. And then I saw another deer. I saw three deer right near my patio. Well, the one deer ran after the other deer and went up on its hind legs. I don't know if they were playing. I don't know if the one deer was not happy with the other deer. I don't know. But the one deer ran, ran down into my yard, into the woods. Ran, ran, and the other deers chased this deer. And they went down where there's a little creek. Because I think they were going to go through the creek to the other side. Guess what happened when they went down into the creek? I'll give you a hint. It was big and it was blue. And that's what gave me the idea to do the great blue heron today. I saw a great blue heron get startled by the deer. It was amazing. So, I got my nature journal and I started to draw my blue heron. And I started to wonder. I put on my wondering cap. I wonder. Oh yes, I wonder. And I thought and I thought of questions that I could ask. You might know what questions I'm going to ask. Does a blue heron look like a great blue heron? What habitat does the great blue heron need or like? What does a great blue heron eat? And then I wanted to know, since it's such a big bird, how big is its nest? And here's what I found out, friends. You ready? Okay. I found out, well, that the blue heron is bluish gray, as I said. All the things I described, that's what she looks like. But how big is she? She's three to four and a half feet tall. What? I'm five feet tall. Whoa. Three feet. That's wow. That's about, hmm, I don't know how to show you how tall that is. Well, that was tall as this chair. Maybe even tall when her neck is out. Oh my goodness. See, I'm five feet tall. When her neck's out, she probably comes up to here. That's that's a big bird. That's a pretty big bird. Oh my goodness. And do you know how big her wing span is? Well, my wing span is about five feet. Her wingspan is bigger than I can reach. That's how big her wings are. So when I saw that today, I was like, whoa, what is that? That's a big bird. Whoa. So that is what the blue heron looks like, and that's how big she is. Pretty big. I think that might be the biggest bird we've talked about thus far. Remember we talked about the owl? That was pretty big. Remember we talked about the pileated woodpecker? That was big too, as was the Cooper's hawk. But I think the great blue heron has them all beat. I think she's the biggest. What habitat? Well, she was down in the creek. So guess what kind of habitat she likes? Yep, she likes river banks, swamps, all water related marshes, lakes. She'll even visit a backyard pond if somebody has one. Yep, that's what habitat she likes. 
You might find her in some grasslands or you might find her in farm fields. Once in a while you might see that. But most of the time you'll see a great blue heron if you're canoeing somewhere quietly, canoeing on a lake or canoeing down a river. You'll see her on the shore. What does she eat? Well, do you think the great blue heron is an herbivore? It eats plants. An omnivore that eats plants and meat or animal friends? Or is she a carnivore? Hmm, I didn't know this. The great blue heron is a carnivore. So she eats fish and reptiles and small little animals and insects and maybe other birds. So she will hunt for other animals. Mm. And if you are canoeing on a lake or a river and you see a big bird with long legs standing really still and looking down in the water for a long, long time, you might wonder, is that a statue? Or is that a real bird? The great blue heron walks through the shallow water looking for things to eat. And then she'll stop and she'll stand for the longest time. I have so much fun when I canoe. I stop my canoe and I just watch and I watch. And that blue heron will just stay there forever looking for a fish and guess what she does when she sees that fish? Boop! She'll grab it with her long bill. Yep, as fast as that, as fast as can be. She's a good hunter. <laughs> wow. How big is her nest? Well, I found out that the male great blue herons will collect material for the nest and then He'll present it to the females, and she'll start making the nest. She'll weave the nest and make a nice saucer-like shape. And she'll make it out of, well, the sticks. She'll line it with pine needles or moss or dry grass or twigs. And she'll work three days to two weeks on that nest. And that nest. That nest can be as big as four feet, whoa, and three and a half feet deep, whoa, whoa. That's amazing. So if you ever see a nest that big, well, it very well could be a great blue heron. Could also be an eagle. They make really big nests too. That is a little bit of the blue heron. Those nests might be really, really high in the trees. She might build, she might build the nest on the ground too, but most of the time they're high up in the trees, I would say. And sometimes if you see a nest, you'll see lots and lots and lots and lots of great blue heron nests because they like to nest together, big groups of them. Wouldn't that be a sight? I've never seen that. If I ever came across that, whoa, I'd stop my canoe for a long time and watch. That would be amazing. So, friends, that's a little bit about the great blue heron. Well, that is an amazing bird, and you know what that makes me think of. Nature Rocks! You ready to sing Nature Rocks? Because, friends, nature is amazing. It rocks. Let's sing it. Nature Rocks. Nature's cool. Look at all the things that we can do. 
You can climb a mountain, you can climb a tree, swim in the waters of the deep blue sea. Open the door into your own backyard to find cool nature. You don't have to look far. It's so true. There's over 10,000 species of birds, another 5,000 mammals you never heard. Millions of insects to blow your mind. Nature is cool, that's the bottom line. Nature is cool, that's the bottom line. One, two, three. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's what we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool. We want to be nature rocks, nature's cool, that's what we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's what we want to be. Yeah, ba ba yeah, ba ba yeah. Listen up, nature is cool, that's what we want to be. What up? Nature is fly, nature is free. Get up, no computer screen can ever compare to all the sights, all the sounds when you're walking up the beach. It's time to put down. The iPod, the fairies, and all the screens. It's time to wake up your body, wake up your mind. Get up, get out, and leave the gadgets behind. One, two, three. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's what we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's what we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, so we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's what we want to be. Ba -da, ba -ba. Get out, do the real thing. Get up, get out, put down the games. Get up, get out, do the real thing. Here we go. Get up, get out, put down the games. Get up, get out, do the real thing. Get up, get out, put down the games. Get up, get out, do the real thing. The real thing, the real thing. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's where we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's where we want to be. Nature rocks, nature's cool, that's where we want to be. And nature rocks, nature's cool, that's where we want to be. Turn it off. Unplug it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's going out to the great blue heron. Woo! Yeah! Oh, were you dancing? I hope you were. Yay! Well, that was fun. I so enjoyed learning about a nature friend. I hope you did too, and I hope you'll work on your nature journals. I hope you'll get outside lots and lots. And remember that... All our nature friends are very important and have a purpose. And that nature needs you. And you, too. You also need nature. Here we go. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. From the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. Become the great student of this great teacher. Oh, open your eyes, open your ears. Sit down in the middle of a forest here. Listen to the wind, the birds, and the trees. Got a great tale to tell you and me. Oh, nature needs kids. Kids need nature from the tallest oak tree to the smallest creature. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature, and they're counting on us to be their protectors. Oh, turn off the tube. Turn off the games. Walk outside and make a difference today. Plant a new tree. Clean up the stream. Make the fishy song nice and clean. Fall from the grave. The whales of the sea. 
songbirds and the bumblebees, the tigers of the east, the rainforest too. You need them and they need you. Nature needs kids. Kids need nature from the tallest oak tree to the Nature needs kids. Kids need nature. Become the great student. Become the great student. Become the great student of this great teacher. Yay! Yay, friends! Woo! Okay. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. And before Saturday, we need to think of our summer plan. Maybe we'll do this once a week. Maybe we'll do it twice a week. We'll have to think about it. When we'll decide before Saturday, because that's when summer break starts at my school. Many of you watching are at the same school, right? Okay, so we'll do our summer program. We'll do our summer schedule. Okay, I'll see you. Go outside.